Well, my friends, we do have to start off with a quick apology for this video being so late. Google decided to drop the new Android 16 QPR1 Beta 3 update, thankfully, but it was smack dab at the end of the day. Long story short, it was just too much to get into, especially at the end of a long workday for either me or Damien, but we still 100% wanted to get this out covered for you guys. So for the sake of time, we're going to keep this one short, sweet, and to the point so we can quickly tell you everything new in Android 16 QPR1 Beta 3. So let's get right into it. All right, so this third beta for the first Android 16 quarterly platform release is definitely more about refinement than revolution, but there are still some interesting tweaks that are worth talking about, especially for us Pixel fans. First up is a small but welcome change to the at a glance widget. In a previous beta, Google removed the colorful weather icons in favor for a simpler single color white icon. If I had to guess, this was likely a move for aesthetic minimalism as the all white look is certainly clear cleaner, don't get me wrong, but in this recent Beta 3 update, they reverted the weather icons back to their more colorful counterparts, which I think is a better experience. The use of color immediately improves glanceability, making the weather conditions instantly more recognizable, which, might I add, is the entire purpose of the at-a-glance widget in the first place. Plus, that pop of color just makes the interface more lively and visually appealing, so I'm glad that they went back, and I really hope that this sticks around for the full release. Next up is another small but impactful change to the Pixel Launcher, we now have dynamic color theming for the Launcher shortcuts. That's the bar at the bottom of the home screen where you can access Google Lens, AI Search, and Voice Search. In Beta 3, those shortcut icons will now adapt to the color theme of your operating system instead of the multicolored branded icons we've seen in the past. This is another great move for creating a more cohesive and uniform home screen, especially if you have themed icons enabled. Now, everything has a a similar look based on your chosen color theme, which just feels more integrated overall. There's also an interesting change in the settings app as a whole, where the spacing has been tightened up quite a bit. The settings categories are a little bit closer together now, so you can see a little bit more of your screen at once. In pretty much every area of the settings app, you'll notice icons, lists, and shortcuts are all smushed together a bit more. I don't know if I'd say this is a good change or not. Personally, I like the more open and spaced out settings, but it's a minor change, all things considered. It's also worth mentioning a lot of submenus within the settings page got some redesigns with more Material 3 expressive containers. The check marks for toggles now have Material 3 color theming. And in general, we have some slight adjustments to make diving through the settings a lot cleaner for the average user. This next one is probably one of the most inconsistent aspects of these updates, and that's the battery health page. One update, they add it. The next update, they remove it and then add it again. Some devices get it, some devices don't, so don't shoot me, I'm just the messenger. That said, the battery health stats page has seemingly returned in QPR1 Beta 3, and I hope it stays around this time. I've noticed that on my Pixel 9 Pro with this beta, I have access to it, but on my Pixel 9a running QPR1 Beta 2, I still get that unsupported tag. So enjoy it now, because who knows if it will be mysteriously removed in the next beta. And finally, to wrap it all up, the settings and privacy page has lost its Material 3 expressive containers. Those are the little pill-shaped card-like sections that serve as nice visual indicators for groups of settings. Not sure why they were removed, but if I had to guess, maybe it was to improve visual clarity on a page that already has a lot going on. So there you have it guys, everything in this latest beta, short and sweet, just like I promised. I will say, while Android 16 QPR1 Beta 3 isn't loaded with a ton of new user-facing changes, it really represents that crucial polishing stage. We're seeing small, thoughtful changes that add up all to refine the user experience. It's clear Google is buttoning up everything for the final release, and it's looking like a pretty solid update overall for Pixel devices. But that's just what I think. Are you running the beta right now? If so, what's your experience been like so far? Please leave a comment and let me know because I'm always super interested to hear what the Android community is thinking. Until next time, this has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.